Hi there, good to see you. On July 1st, 2022, Tony Kuiper released update version 1.2.0 to the TK8 plugin. This update is free for TK8 owners and anyone who purchased it after July 1st already has the update. To see what version of TK8 you have, you can click the TK icon on any TK8 module. In addition to minor fixes, the main attraction of the update is an entirely new module called My Actions. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some ways that the My Actions module can help you be faster and more efficient in Photoshop. Tony has also produced a great tutorial showing the basics of how to add, remove, and arrange your own actions in the My Actions module. So if you haven't seen it, start with that first. There's a link in the description that will take you to Tony's My Action tutorial. One of the strengths of the TK panel is that it provides quick one-click access right in your Photoshop workspace to the Photoshop features that photographers use the most, and they're often otherwise hidden within Photoshop menus, panels, or keyboard shortcuts. The new My Actions module allows you to create your own custom module that has one-click access to your own actions, as well as menu items, keyboard shortcuts, and even Photoshop scripts that are not already included in other TK8 modules. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to add actions, Photoshop menu items, Photoshop keyboard shortcuts, and Photoshop scripts to the My Actions module. One of the great things about the My Actions module is that the size can be modified to fit different workspace configurations. You can leave it in a compressed column and then it will just fly out when you click on it. You can dock it with expanded panels that already are the same size, such as next to the Multimask module up here or even down next to your Layers panel right there. On my 4K monitor, I have extra space below my CX module. So I like to put it down here. I need to get it down on that boundary where the blue line shows up. And then I can use up some of that additional space with my actions and it changes size to fit the width of the CX module. Since I always leave the CX module open, this means that I'll also now have the My Actions module always open and available. If you're not familiar with how to create your own actions, a quick YouTube search for Photoshop Actions will yield a wide range of tutorials that can teach you how. Once you have actions recorded in your Photoshop Actions panel, you can then add them to the My Actions module as Tony demonstrates in his tutorial. To review, you simply just click the plus button and then choose an action set where the actions you wanna add are located. We'll go with this one. And then you pick the actions from that set that you want to add. And you can add one or more than one, whichever ones are highlighted green are the ones that will be added. And then you click the plus button and now those actions have been added into my actions. Now, instead of having to search for these actions in the actions panel, I can simply run them with a single click right here. That alone makes the my actions module awesome but there are also some menu items and some keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time that are not included in the combo or CX module buttons, but I'd still like to have quick access to them. To add menu items and keyboard shortcuts to my actions, I simply need to create actions for them. For example, I'd like to have direct access to my Topaz filters, the Topaz Denoise AI and Topaz Sharpen AI. So to create actions for those, here's how that would work. I would come down to Photoshop's actions panel. I would click the plus icon to add a new action. And the first one I'm gonna add is Topaz Denoise AI. So that's the name of it. And I want it to be in my menu functions set. I already had that action set here. Uh, set up by clicking the folder icon and adding it. So that's where that action is going to go. And now I'm going to hit record. 
And when I have the red button lit up, I know I'm recording and anything I do will be recorded into that action. Now, to add a menu item in an action, you come up to the Actions Panel menu and you select Insert Menu Item. And right now, I don't have a menu item selected, so I'm gonna come up to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Denoise AI, and now when I click OK, that is the menu item that will be added to my action. So click OK. And there it is, Topaz Denoise AI. And now I just need to stop recording the action because I don't want anything else to be added to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Stop. And now when I run that action, if I run it from the Actions panel by clicking the Run button, it'll open up Topaz Denoise AI. But I'm not gonna run the action now. I just wanted to create that action so then later I can add it to my actions and run it from there. And I'm also going to add another new action. So I'll go ahead and click the plus icon again. And this one's going to be for Topaz Sharpen AI. And again, it's going to be in my menu function set. Go ahead and hit record and come to the menu, insert menu item, come up to filter, Topaz Labs, Sharpen and add that there it is stop recording and so now i've got an action for sharpen ai as well and just that easily i can create an action for anything in any menu so anything i see here in any of these menus for example closing all images or opening my preferences or adding a shadow highlights adjustment layer or anything else, window arrangements, viewing my rulers, any of those can become actions by inserting menu items. I can even add anything that is in the automate menu or anything that's in my script menu. And if you wanna learn how to make and use Photoshop scripts, again, just do a YouTube search for Photoshop scripts and you'll find lots of tutorials. And finally, what about your favorite keyboard shortcuts that you'd rather just activate with a single click instead of having to take your hand off the mouse to type all the keys? One that comes to mind is the dreaded merge all to a new layer shortcut. That shortcut on a PC is Control Alt Shift E or on a Mac it's Command Option Shift E. And there's already a button for doing that in the combo or CX module, but it still provides a good example of how to create a shortcut action. Again, start recording a new action, and I'm gonna call this one Merge to New Layer. And instead of putting this one in my menu function set, I'm gonna put it in my keyboard shortcut set just to help with organization. And then I'm gonna click Record and now I'm just going to type Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E on a Mac. And that keyboard shortcut, it did it, is now recorded into that action. So now I can stop recording and now I have an action for that keyboard shortcut. And that works the same way with any keyboard shortcut. So now that we have some actions for some menu items and a keyboard shortcut, we can go about adding them to the My Actions module as well. Again, you just click on the plus icon and then choose an action set. So my menu functions here, I wanna add my Topaz Denoise and my Topaz Sharpen. So I'll go ahead and click add and there they are in this tall skinny format for the module, if I don't want to use up extra line space, I should make shorter action names. So these two, I should probably just take the AI off. And I can repeat the process to add my keyboard shortcut action. And again, I should probably shorten the name so that it doesn't take up extra space. 
After adding all the actions I want and organizing them and color coding them as Tony demonstrates how to do in his video, this is what my actions module looks like. I've got some of my favorite actions in green at the top. Then I've got access to my Topaz plugins in purple in the middle. And then I've got some soft proofing actions that speed up my Photoshop soft proofing workflow in orange at the bottom. I'm loving the My Actions module because it reduces the number of clicks that I have to make in Photoshop and also means I don't have to go hunt through Photoshop menus or take my hand off the mouse to type keyboard shortcuts nearly as often. And this makes me way more efficient and it also doesn't interrupt my creative flow when I'm in that zone. So I hope this tutorial on the new My Actions module combined with Tony's tutorial will provide you with some ideas for how you can put it to use in your workflow. So cheers, and I'll see you again soon.